So this is part two of uh, life insurance, uh, as I uh, have mentioned to you guys. So we're going to get this going. We're going to talk about it a little bit and uh, so that we could get it going so you guys can get a good discussion, so you guys can get a good understanding of what exactly is going on here. So as promised, this is part two. I, I don't want to delay this any longer for you guys. I do want to uh, get this going. All right. So, guys, uh, how life insurance works. Right. So So guys, how life insurance work? Right? So life insurance can uh the way to look at life insurance there's different components to it that's the first thing. So life insurance policies can have two main components which is the death benefits and also um uh you got the cash accumulations and you also have uh whether it's term or whether it's whole life. So let's look at it for example. So a death benefit uh, a, a death benefit and a premium. Term life insurance has these two uh these two components. Um but Permanent whole life insurance policies also have cash value components. So here it is. Two components to life insurance, right? So either have uh, you either have uh, a term or you have whole life. One way of looking at it, if you have whole life, then you have cash components into it. Then if you have term, yes, you have a premium component built into it. They both have a premium component, but here's the difference. Here's the difference. The difference is one of them going to uh, bring some 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 funding back. So pretty much is a way of, you know, uh, getting some money back and to. Uh, uh, well, yes, it is uh, getting some funding back into into it. All right. So, guys, let's go down a little bit deeper, which is death benefit. So that's one of the components. All right. So the death benefit, which is the first part, which is a death benefit and the premium. So the death benefit. Uh, or face value or the amount the insurance company guarantees to uh, to the beneficiary uh, identifies in the policy when the insured uh, dies. So what does that mean? So the death benefit is the amount, let's say you say, okay, 20,000. You said 20,000, okay, so that's what it is. So however, in whole life, it's gonna, at the end of the day, it, you know, uh, it's not going to be 20,000 or 25,000 that's there. It's going to be a little bit more. It's going to be more. So that's the one thing to think about. When you're looking into life insurance, hopefully that's clear. If it's not, comment down below so I could make it more clear for you guys, so I could make it more understanding, so you guys could get it, um, you know, uh, correctly, so that you know there's no confusion. Then we gotta look into premium, right? Premium. What exactly is premium? Let's read it a little bit. Premium. Uh, premium all the money the policyholder pays for uh, for insurance. So. It's the money that you're going to be paying every month, every three months, every six months, every year. That's what keeps the policy going is the premium. You know, the premium of the policy. That's what keeps it going. All right. Cash value. What is cash value? So the cash value, uh, the cash value of permanent life insurance serves two purposes. Exactly what I was saying before. Similar to terms. So let, let, let me not confuse you guys. The two purposes that it serves, it pays the premium so the policy can keep on going, right? It also brings back some cash value. Oh, of course, cash value brings back some cash value so that you guys, um, so that there could be some money in the policy so the policy could grow. What does that mean? So that means, guys, you get a $25,000 policy, a $50,000 policy, a $100,000 policy. So the cash value is going to grow in that policy. So at the end of the day, it might wind up being 30, 40. It might, the 50 might wind up being 75, 100. The 100 might wind up being 125, 150, 200. You know what I mean? Based on the company, based on the policy. Remember from before, I said the, po the a policy that you are holding is just as strong as, as the as the strength of the company. All right. So it's just the, uh, as strong as the strength of the company. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind for me, because that's very super important. When you're looking into life insurance, because the strength of the company determines how your policy is going to perform. OK, now let's uh, move on to that types of life insurance. So many different types of life insurance out there. 
Uh, and they are yes, they are available to uh, to, uh, to meet all sorts of needs and, and preferences. There's so many different types, and each one of them is designed and tailored for a specific case for a specific reason. So let's look at these three. Let's look at these three for a brief second, all right? So the uh, these three is term life, okay? Term life. What does term life really means? So term life insurance lasts a certain number of years, uh, then it ends. Meaning that you get it for 10 years, 20, 30 years. You know what I mean? Then it ends. Then it stops. Of course, it's just like renting. It's just like renting. Then it stops. Okay? Um, you choose the terms. Of course, yes, you choose whether you want it for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Usually, um, you know, there's many different reasons of why folks get term life insurance. Uh, believe it or not, there's so many benefits to term life insurance. And you just need the right person to explain all that to you. So if you need me to explain any of that to you, comment down below so I could know exactly what's your question so I could definitely respond to it, okay? So we got level term. So what is level term? Level term is when you pay the premium every year consistently for that 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, uh, nonstop uh, for that specific amount. So let's just say you get a million dollar worth of uh, uh, policy, right? So, and it's uh, for a million dollars, it's like $250. So every month, you know, for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, you're going to pay $250. All right. So you decide otherwise what you're doing with the policy and how you could utilize it a little bit better. So increasing term, what does that mean? So increasing term meanings that that's like renewable term, all right? Meaning that every year that term is going to go up by a few cents. The younger you are, the better you are. Unfortunately for us, you know, as people, you know, we grow by ages every day. Every day we grow older. Every hour we grow older. Every minute we grow older. Every second we grow older. So unfortunately for us, so, you know, uh, we, we get older. If not, that premium would have been staying the same and it would have been fixed just as a uh, uh, level term, you know. Um, so let me read this real quick. It says the premiums are, are, are lower when you are younger and um, and increase as you get older. This is also called uh, uh, yearly renewable terms. That's exactly what it is. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. I, I definitely appreciate you guys. If this is your first time here, I definitely, definitely would recommend that, you know, this is a channel for you to subscribe to, to get more information, to get more knowledge, to get your understanding better, you know, to, uh, um, uh, to, to, to get more out of the channel, to get more out of life, to get more out of the world. So this is definitely a channel you should definitely subscribe to. Okay. Stay tuned. And, uh, uh, we're going to keep on going. Like I said, this is only part two. If you have not seen part, uh, the first part yet, the, the first part yet, definitely go back and watch that so that you can get a full understanding because this is going to keep on going. It's only getting good. It's only going to get better. You know what I mean? It's only going to get better. It's only going to get good. It's only going to get uh, better and better and better. All right. So guys, let, let, uh, uh, watch out for the next one, which is part three. So which is coming out soon.